Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. The product we're gonna tear down today is Samsung 45 watts USB-C fast charging wall charger. I think most Samsung users already know it. It is the farthest Samsung mobile phone charger currently, and its price is 41 US dollars and 11 cents on Amazon. This time, let's skip the introduction and just open it up. The packaging contains the charger, dual USB-C cable, and some documents. The plug will be a little bit different in different countries or regions. The charger still adopts black shell. The matte surface can reduce fingerprints and scratches. A lightning logo and super fast charging are in the middle. The specification is on the back of the charger. The model is EP-TA845. It supports volt voltage input of 100 to 240 volts, 1.2 amp, which means it can be used worldwide. Its output will be 5 volts, 3 amp, 9 volts, 3 amp, 15 volts, 3 amp, 20 volts, 2.25 amp, and three sets of PPS. The manufacturer is Dongyang and is made in Vietnam. It also passed the relevant certification. Then let's see the size. The length of this charger is about 52 mm, the width is about 53 mm, the thickness is about 29.6 mm. Compared with Apple 30 watts charger we just tear down, almost the same. Next, let's take a look at the cable inside the packaging. It has dual USB-C port and both ends are marked with 5 amp. The other side is marked with Vietnam. The length is 1 meter. Use the charger lab power ZKT002, we can see it's a passive cable and has e-marker chip inside. It can support 100 watts charging but just USB 2.0 speed of data transmission. 1 meter confirmed again. And then let's test its performance. The test results shows that this charger only supports Samsung 5 volts, 2 amp, DCB particles, and QC4 PD3 PPS fast charging particles. And is not compatible with other fast charging particles. The four supported fixed PDOs will be the same as what is printed in the shell. Except that, it also supports three PPS PDOs of 3.3 volts to 11 volts 5 amp, 3.3 volts to 16 volts 3 amp, 3.3 volts to 21 volts 2.25 amp. Charger Lab Power Z KM001C shows the charging speed can reach about 35 watts when you it to charge Samsung S20 Ultra. Okay, after talking about the appearance and the performance of the Samsung 45 watts charger, let's take it apart to see the internal structure. Try to open the shell along the edge of the outward side. Take a look at the PCB module. The front transformer is covered with black insulating plate and heat sink. Those components are fixed by gray silicon. The heating components on the back of the PCB are also covered with silicon. There is a plastic insulation plate to isolate the high voltage electrolytic capacitor and the output port. We will clean up the PCB module and then introduce its inner components. After the observation and analysis by Charger Lab, this charger adopts the typical architecture of switching power supply and particle chip. The high voltage current comes in from the AC pin. It will pass the fuse and filtering circuit, and then rectified by rectifier bridge and filtered by high voltage electrolytic capacitor. Then the master control chip will control the transformer to step down, then rectify and filter it again. Finally, the output voltage will be controlled by the particle chip. The input side has the fuse, common mode choke, safety X capacitor, and the rectifier bridge is vertical, which can make full use of spaces. This is the thermistor, common mode choke, and three high voltage electrolytic capacitors. All the capacitors come from Capaxon. The specification of the outside one is 400 volts, 50 microfarad. The two capacitors inside are 400 volts, 22 microfarad. A small capacitor from Capaxon is in the corner, used to power the master control chip, and is 15 volts, 10 microfarad. Here is the transformer. The model information of the charger is printed on the top, which is controlled by the master control chip on the back. The chip comes from Power Integrations, a well-known American manufacturer. 
It is customized by Samsung and belongs to InnoSwitch 3 Pro series. It has built-in primary PWM controller, primary switching tube, and secondary synchronous rectify controller, etc. Except for the master control chip, a discharge chip of X capacitor from power integrations is also used on the primary side, which is used to improve the energy efficiency of the charger. Model is CAP200DG. The synchronous rectifier MOSFET is next to the master control chip of the power supply and is used to cooperate with it to convert the AC into DC, with standard voltage is 100 volts. There is also a portable chip belongs to MM101 series, which is designed and produced by Samsung. There are two solid capacitors on the front secondary side, connected in parallel. Both are 30 volts 300 microfarad. They are used for filtering after rectification, which makes the output voltage more stable. The output port has outer plastic for protection, and the blue Y capacitor is next to it, used for reducing output interference. You can see that there is also a 30V VBUS switching tube of output next to the output port after removing the transformer, which comes from Winning Team International. Okay, that's all components of Samsung 45W USB-C fast charging wall charger. I'd like to say that the components quality of this Samsung charger is pretty good. Its master control chip comes from the well-known brand Power Integrations, and the chip has high integration, which makes it has fewer components. But we still need to know the portable it supports are not as good as many third-party chargers. If you just want to charge your own Samsung phone, it's totally enough. So for this 41 US dollars and 11 cents charger, do you think it's worth it? And compared with third-party chargers, which one you'd like to choose? Leave your comments below and subscribe to us. I'll catch you guys in the next video.